What's up? What's up? It's your boy A to the K to the K, Alexander Ken Kwame. And today we are going to talk about HDRI in Unreal Engine. So before I start, I want to talk about our patron. So shout outs to Philip as our first patron member. And I have a new video uploaded on the patron page on how I make my animations. You can also go check it out because right now I can make a free seven days trial for all the patreon members so I will start to activate that and you can go check our patreon if you want to stick fine if you don't want to stick that's cool you know you can still be here on YouTube it's fine okay so let's just move to HDRI yes H D R I. So, you ever watch a high budget movie, a Hollywood movie, where you know the scene is mostly got CG characters, but they really feel real in the scene? Yes, they mostly use HDRI light source for the CGI characters. And we have HDRI also in Unreal Engine. And um, I want to go over how I made this scene right here with um hdri okay yeah so to start i wanna start with how to set up an hdri so if you will not start like this no you not start like this i have my hdri image um, right here this is the hdri backdrop i can turn it off and you see the whole scene is black okay I turn it on so to start to get HDRI we have to go here and under light we have HDRI backdrop but you will you will not get it like this because you have to go to plugins and you have to search HDR yeah HDRI and you will turn that on I believe you have to restart when you do that so that's the first step of turning on an HDRI. Okay. So my intensity is at five and my size is at thousand. When you start, you get it around hundred. And I believe the intensity will be around one. Let me try and reset it and see. Yeah, the intensity will be around one. So I will literally boost it um, like five. Okay. And yes, mostly that's it. You just get everything matching up really nice. Okay. So let's talk about how I try to match the front with the background because this background right here is mostly part of the HDRI. So what I did, I, I simply just dropped in um, a plane and on that plane, I added Megascans foliage um, for the grass right here. So these are all Megascans um, foliage for the grass. You can see just right here. And yeah, I'll talk about this ball later. Don't worry. So that was how I just, you just paint it, you know, foliage, you go to um, here, you go to foliage and you just paint it on your scene to actually match the background um, leaves and grass right here okay so, so you some people will also complain about they don't get shadows from HDRI so let me show you something right here so uh, I have because I dropped a plane um, where is it this is plane 2 Okay, so I believe the plane is um, at the top. Where is it? Okay, yeah. So this is this is the plane. You can see I have shadows. I have shadows here for the plane. So actually, HDRIs come do come in with shadows, but it's not you not get it from the start because when we go to pass processing volume. We have, um, let me try and search um, global 
actually global illumination when you turn this on mostly you get lumen now you see you see what just happened with lumen the shadows are more not that enough this is also cool this is also nice and some people might be like they don't want this they don't want these shadows so if you don't want this then you can choose not to use lumen and uh, what's the name of it let me see standalone ray traced or um, screen space you can you can just use this if you feel like this is the one the best one for you fine so that's how you get uh, shadows for your HDRI um, on or your HDRI characters okay so let me talk about lightning a little bit so for HDRIs mostly I will uh, say you don't have to actually rely on your H only your HD RI for your light because mostly even in, in real scenes we have and um, when we are shooting on real set sometimes you use the Sun as the main source of your light sometimes we even block the Sun to actually get the um, the filmic look we are going in for or sometimes we add some light attached um, helping the main source as, as the sunlight to give us the um, actual look we are going for so you can do that straight also here so here I also had uh, a directional light but this directional light at this moment is not doing anything I was just trying it out so actually let me um, I believe the visibility is off so let me try and turn on the visibility on and yeah that's our directional light now if um, you want to use your directional light make sure that you are matching the directional light because directional light is mostly acting like ice as the Sun so make sure you are matching your directional light with your um, HDR light that's how that's why I have this ball right here so let me show you something real quick real quick on the ball so just check this out you see here this is where the Sun is at so you see the light the ball is reflecting where the Sun is at so let me try and uh, switch switch off the directional light it's not actually enough so you don't actually see it. so let me try and uh, boost the directional light so maybe some like 10 okay so when I turn it off you see it's slightly different from here but you let me try and uh, move the directional light so uh, let me try and move it look check watch close to the ball you can see you can see there's another light source moving on the other side okay so you have to match this light with your direction out with the main HDR light so you place it just right here because when I move it to the side you can see this is our main HDR um, light source and this is our directional light okay so I try to just push it just right here to just be on the same side as our directional as our HDR light okay but I'll just um, actually turn it off because when you are using the directional light you have to really take care let me jump into my camera and just show you something so you can see watch the foreground and watch the background mostly when you're using the directional light the directional light does not affect the HDRI's background it mostly will affect your um, your asset in your scene but not the background so when you're using it maybe um, you have to place it maybe around let's say like two yeah something like that maybe like two or one because sometimes you want to get some shadows um, coming in like cool like the um, for this character maybe you want to get the shadows really showing up or something like that so maybe you try to 
uh, bringing your directional light to actually light up your source a little bit and also you can add um, rectangle light to uh, onto your um, character too okay so I, I want to also talk about camera position because your camera position will really sell out the effect now let me I think let me bring down my HDRI okay you don't worry I think we'll just move on with this so your camera angle so let's say uh, let me get out you see this camera angle right here it's kind of easily to sell the effect that these three are in here but when I go to the top fine it can actually sell the effect when I try to paint around here to actually match in with these ones right here so mostly it's mostly your camera um, okay you see you see right here right here just see right here like this part you see it really match you can see it really match the HDRI with the foreground okay when I go to the top like this you can see I have some um, arrows are here but mostly it's, it's coming from the projection of the HDRI you can actually change the projection of the HDRI let me show you when you come down in here you see we have projection center and I have it at negative 50 but you can you can go like uh, let me say 100 and you see it just moved up let's say uh, let me do something like thousand and it goes up again okay so you can actually uh, change oh come on um, control Z control Z okay yeah so you can actually change the position of your HD or the projection of your HDRI okay so I think so far um, these are the things I really want to talk about the H about HDRI so and also you can also create your own HDRI this is just a stepping stone imagine if you don't have these trees right here you just have a vast HDRI without these trees and you have the um, I mean um, realistic clouds of real nature and you just get um, a mega scans tree assets and you just paint them at the background with your foreground imagine I mean the kind of realism you'll be going in for so this is just a stepping stone for you all to know that which HDRIs I mean with HDRIs you can make um, crazy super realistic um, images from Unreal Engine yeah so yeah it's your boy A to the K to the K again and that was all about HDRI, so don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, don't forget to share, and I love y'all. Stay safe, peace, bye, I'm out.